My name is Robert Hess, I'm a neurosurgeon. I work in Antwerp, Belgium, in a general hospital. I've worked there for many years in the spine department. We do a lot of degenerative lumbar pathologies where we vary from a degenerative discopathy in younger patients where we do anterior fusions or anterior prosthesis, but we also do a lot of posterior fusions for one, two or even multiple levels. Most patients that we see for degenerative problems are younger and we do operations from 25 to 45 or 50 years old. But when they become older, we see that the disc problem in itself is not really the problems that they have. Then they tend to have more spinal stenosis or degenerative enterolysis, degenerative scoliosis cases. And then the age, lim the age of course goes up uh, between 45. In 55, there's not a lot of new pathologies, but when patients become older than 60, they develop all those degenerative changes. For my patients who suffer from spinal stenosis, I look if there's instability. If there's clear instability on flexion extension x-rays, then we probably do a fusion, and when we have limited signs of instability, we try to do a decompression alone. We would use the top system for patients who have enterolysis due to severe facet arthrosis with severe to moderate stenosis. And we also use the tops when in cases where there is not too much degenerative discopathy. If we see that the disc is real collapsed and uh, or too much degenerated, then I think a mobile solution is not really possible anymore. We did started using tops in 2005 when we did a few cases for a single level, but we readily got our hands on the system where with the hybrid solution and we found a lot of patients with a degenerative discopathy on a lower level which was impossible to keep mobile but with a severe stenosis in the level above usually l3 l4 or l4 l5 where we use the hybrid versalink solution in many cases we follow our patients up with score forms preoperatively and we try to keep the score forms until five or seven years after surgery so we we, we kept keep track of all our records it turns out that over the years, their clinical st situation stays very stable. On general, those patients were very disabled before surgery and they have a rapid resolution of their symptoms and this seems to stay very stable over time. With all the cases that we did with TOPS, we checked preoperatively their clinical scores, VAS score and ODI score, and with all those patients, we follow them up yearly and we see that the results with TOPS are sustained over years. Patients with the TOPS are very satisfied and uh, we have the impression that the satisfaction rate does not decline with years. And we also saw in this very disabled TOPS patients, uh, b before the operation, uh, a lot of disablement, but after surgery a rapid declining symptoms.